Boom. What up? Solar Renekton and only here back doing some more League of Legends action. Helping this guy real quick. Give him a big leash. Nice. Uh, we're against Trinomir Top. We have just lost lane versus Trinomir Top. <laughs> if you're not in lane to start the game versus Trinomir, you're probably pretty screwed. Because there's no way I can take lane control from him right now. He has his Conqueror ready to go and he's full Fury. Full Fury gives him 35% extra CDR. Giving him extra damage as well. Or not, did I say CDR? I meant crit. My bad. But we got the wave frozen outside of the tower. That was pretty important. But we're still in a bad spot here. But this is what happens if you got a leash top. You could get jungle pressure, maybe. Hitting him a little bit. I get level 2 here. Walk away. I can't really help too much. Nice. Good job, dude. Good job. Alright, so he paid me back for the the level 2. You know what I'm trying to say. He paid me back for the long leash. Because, again, you just lose the lane off of that play. You, you cannot... Alright, I won't say you lose the lane. You lose the early portion of the lane, which tends to lead to a nice advantage for Trindamir. So you have to play passive, you have to let him shove in. Too many people die to Trindamir level 1 because they try some dumb shit like fighting him. Like imagine if I came back to lane and tried to fight him right there. It would be very, 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 very bad. Jacob's invading on us. This is interesting. I'm running down, but I'm going to get screwed on the wave, unfortunately. Nah, this is stupid. Being dumb. And I'm not denying him from building up Fury. He's just going to get all of his Fury up. Ooh. I didn't want him getting that uh, spin on me, but he ended up getting an auto anyway, so it didn't matter. I just gotta make sure this wave crashes and I can back here. Mmm, <sighs> that's rough. I'm gonna pop potion, try and hold this. Uh, that's not good. Let's back up a little bit. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, motherfucker, wrong way. Oh my god, I swear I clicked back. Oh my god. I swear I did this. Nope, that's what I did. I didn't click back, dude. Need to click here, click here, then press the Q. I didn't click back, so my dude just queued forward and almost got me completely screwed. No reason not to just do a little trade like that. Disengage. He's getting tank. He's tanking up the minions right here. Alright, sweet. He's gonna push in. Heal up. Oh my god, dude. My ribbon mechanics are definitely amazing. I played this champ four times in like the last year. <laughs> I played it like three times today. I'm feeling actually pretty decent. Just a random piece of dog fur floating in front of my face. Uh, I feel like I should auto. Ooh. And I'm late on the shield. Come on. Boo. Alright. Like, I feel like I can all in and kill him because I have Ignite, but they also have a Shaco, so I should probably just back here. Be smart. I think we can kill, though. I have Ignite. Famous last words, my man. He's just going to be able to shove it in and press Q. So I'm just going to wait for him up this wave. I can back and get. My double CDR item, this plus the uh, Kindle gem. Should be quite good. Yeah, we just gotta wait. I don't know if I should have shielded like that. I just do that and walk away, he's done. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Just setting up simple ganks from a jungler. He really wanted to leave there. I don't think he wanted to push that wave. Quite a mistake. Gonna auto all these back ones. W. Auto. Auto. Dip. <sighs> no! This is gonna be so bad. I'm gonna end up staying like an idiot. My wave isn't under tower. Super bad. I can't stay for the... I can't stay for the range. The range, it's not gonna matter. It's gonna get shoved under enough. Sweet. Oh, he has a team at too? Cool. Do I have enough gold for my other? Oh. Normally, you can go the uh, double CDR route. So you get this plus the Kindle gem. 
right? But we're gonna alternate a little bit because we have enough for our BF sword. We're going for we're going for essence Reaver rush into Black Cleaver. We're gonna get forty five percent CDR with cosmic insight, twenty percent from this, twenty percent from Black Cleaver. That's forty percent plus the five here, forty five percent. Should be spamming our Q key back to lane. Get there faster. He's just gonna dash away. Easy peasy. We do a lot of damage right now. Massive power spike with this item. Alright. Hopefully we don't die to Shaco though. Because <laughs> I do have a shutdown. Um, He's actually going to have flash and I'm not. Or sorry, he's going to have ignite and I'm not. So I might want to be a little careful about that. Where's his items? Oh, I'm way ahead in items. Ooh. A little bit of poke, but he's just gonna leave. Not too much gained. I might try to rotate mid here, maybe make a play. Or I can get deep wards. You always want to do something as, as you push. Push, do something, push, do something. They're gonna collapse on me, so I have to leave. On a one toad this way. I didn't turn fast enough. We're just trying to delay this shit. Yeah, mid's coming here too. I'm just leaving. Top wave is slow pushing to me, so. I come out ahead here. We're just spotting him, delaying him. I guess the junk, the top could go be over here. Yeah, he's not going to. Oh, never mind. The wave was just even, so we basically went even there. I put pressure on the jungle, and we just traded even in top side. And I can just wait for my jungler here, make a play again. I'll have R this time too. No, that was not a good idea. Ow. Oh, whoops. Oh my god, I do so much damage. It blows my own mind. Oh, don't walk in the river. Uh-oh. You're gonna get spotted. Yeah. Oh, he's going in, dog. You crazy. That was a weird flash. He really thought he could make that play happen. Shaco might be topside? No. Or did I? I did. I, did. I definitely did. <laughs> I need to shove these minions in. Otherwise, he's going to pull aggro. Just kidding. He's smart. He press Q. Q drops minion aggro. Because you go untargetable. Woo! You're hitting the wrong one there, buddy. Is he stealth at me right now? I'm just gonna leave. I'm scared. I still have E shield. He hit the wrong one. If I turned it and ignited the right one too, and I also went into a box when I should have probably just walked this way. I figured it'd be okay because I could just E dash through it, but eh, it's not the greatest. It's not the greatest. I was just nervous about him killing me before. I had to wait for his auto timeout, so I started kiting this way, but then I queued one extra time, and that was just the wrong play. Because then he turned right as I queued, and he gained distance away from me. But I can, I'm can i playing a stupid champion, so I can just mash my face into the key, queue three times, and be in a range again. You should be jumping over these as you come back to lane too. It extends the distance of that third queue just by a little bit, because it forces you through the terrain. Just gets you back to lane a little bit faster. Auto W. Auto E. Auto Q, just kidding about that auto attack. <laughs> if you get really good at clipping animations and you can play a mean ribbon. I think I should be more aggressive now. With that since we were finished. Ah, I did it again, dude. I'm trying to click back and jump in. It's a misplay. See, then he just built up Fury on this wave, and it's hard for me to take fights now. Because he can just... What he should do is... Uh, yep, do that to start. Then disengage. But see, he can just heal. Yeah. It forced out his Fury, though. If I force out his Fury and then trade well after, it'll be okay. I'm slowly learning the matchup as I play it. I haven't played this matchup before. And he's playing Trinity quite well, actually. 
pressure wise. Not playing well versus jungle pressure though. I just get conquer immediately. I think I try and contest him before he hits the wave. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I'm actually dead. I might have just died. Oh. God, I keep clicking the wrong way on some of these cues, and they put me in these really bad spots. Ouch. I might be diveable. I can't just auto him for free because then I pull aggro. Oh, I did an RE, dude. It wasn't up yet. Even if I ignited, he doesn't die. Fuck. Fucking ignite damage. I didn't play around ignite at all. He didn't even have to play. Like, I, I played around, like, dodging all of his shit, but he just ignited me. No R. Yeah, yeah, he's got no R. Or IG. I don't think he's going to catch him, though. He has to kind of guess where he is. Oh, he guessed! Good job. Good job, dude. Nah, it was just a stupid trade by me. I could have just backed him and safe. Oh. Okay. Come here. Oh, it's... 30 gold! Alrighty. These boots should help quite a bit. I missed a bunch just to run over and help him. This guy's getting huge though. It's really good. Yeah, his trend's good. It's just, hmm, it's rough. I'm gonna try and make a play. I don't care about this. Shaco's gonna come and stop me. Uh, that's how they spotted me earlier. Whoa! It's alright. You take this. Yeah, this is available. I think he's making the right call, though. Just push me instead. I'm not clicking back far enough. Oh yeah, we just keep pushing. This is so good. If he wants to sit top, they really need to send this guy here. I'm tanking. It's fine. Still tanking. It's fine. <laughs> Sweet. Probably should have just toss my R out at one point there. I'm just gonna back here. Should be able to get mid tower. <laughs> Maybe not. He's super low. I'm just gonna make sure he gets it. Oh! Oh, I killed somebody. That was very strange. <laughs> Chat, I killed Chaco. <laughs> I'm just going to mid tower to help this man out. What the fuck? No way. Oh, he actually got two. That was a bit of a mistake by me, maybe. I mean, I got the kill on the Shaco, so I don't even know. Ooh, can you do this? Oh, yeah, I can. That's a beast. Don't yoink on my farm, dog. Come on. He's gonna yoink all my farm. My man, I don't like people who do that. You can have that. I'm gonna go take all of your farm and bot side, though. <laughs> Goodbye. I mean, you might as well keep pushing, because I don't have shit to do, so I'm just gonna go over here. I feel like playing jungle would be a really good way to get Riven practice. I don't know if I just got shown. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. walk here. It's alright. Took mid. He's taking top. 
I'm the jungler now. Oh, baby. The young ribbon god. Let's go, baby. Easy peasy. I got my black cleaver here. Oh wait, just kidding. Plant tank. Me. Back out. Back on here. Sweet. I wanna back get this. You two top. And I come here with this guy. Sweet. You want to get as much as possible. This is the thing I think on low ELO people don't do enough. Just you want to be fast and efficient. So what's efficient? What's fast? We get kills and we do stuff when they're dead, right? That's the whole reason kills. That's the entire point of getting kills. Because you get free time on the map when you have the numbers advantage. And then it also helps you get the gold advantage. Which gives you the ability to get the numbers advantage later with picks. So what did we do? We took Rift, we took this. We took Towers. Objectives, those are keys. That's how you snowball the game. That's how you're supposed to animation cancel. I just do it kind of slow, because I suck. I'm gonna help this guy get this. Oops. So weed. All right. Oops. Too thick. Pretty sure we can just group up. I think I lose, to be honest. I'm not sure, though. It's m more because I'm not confident with the matchup. Wow, uh, that's not good. I don't want to take this fight. I'll just toss into the shutdown. He ended up spinning just out of my R. The timing was correct. A little bit of disengage. Jesus. That shit hurts. I'm just gonna go heal real quick. Don't wanna sit around with like some HP missing. I'm gonna just walk back real quick. Riven's such a dumb champion. He <laughs> just dashed a million times. Sweet. Alright. Especially with this build 45% CDR. Your Q's so low. And the way the Q works, once we start the first one, it starts the entire 7.5 or 7.15 second cast. So when I use my third, it's like at 3 seconds. But watch. I can use it in a way that. By the time it comes back up with my fourth one, look, there's number two, ready, and then here's number three, and look, it's already back up again. What a dumb champion. <laughs> that's why that's that's like your go-to play right there, because then you join, you like you start the fight with third Q, right, and then you immediately have your next Q available. Those, that's like the picture perfect cheese, you know. Most people aren't going to let you do it, though. And then you always hit the auto before your W, because for some reason your W after. Like, if you W and then try and auto after, you sit there like a goofball for five seconds. It's really odd. Just trying to group up with my team. I have flash soon, so... Just got to be careful. Me and if can get wrecked if we get, if we get stuck in CC. Should probably think about doing this. Got ripped and bought. Beautiful. I'm gonna pull this here. What? I think we just let him split and we go to this side. Okay, I'm coming here with you. I'm pretty sure we can just Baron. We have two bot. As long as he has Rage Blade, we can do this. Yeah, yeah. Plus Zyra plants the tank. It should be easy. Nah, I want to try and tank it, because whoever tanks does less damage. So I want to tank it over Master Yi, obviously. Because I want him to do as much damage as possible so we kill it faster. 
But he does more raw DPS than I do. Ah, uh, that was almost good. That last one I clipped. Oh! Not OP enough to get cannon minions, apparently. I should just go mid, let him split. I'm gonna get vision for him over here. I'm just not gonna do that much. I'm right here behind this guy. That's weird. <laughs> that was weird. I've been playing a lot of Vlad lately. I wanna do another build later. It's just a death, uh, a death cap rush. Well, kind of. It's proto belt into boot two into death cap. I think we should just walk under. Nah, we got bail. He's gonna get fucked. Professional Riven player, baby. Let's go. You seen that? <laughs> Whew. Oh, baby, watch this. Ugh, over that. Come on, I'm blowing your mind. I'm blowing your mind. <laughs> All right, our options here are Death Stance or uh, GA. I'm probably just gonna go GA here because I have the gold for it. <laughs> I don't have the gold for Death Stance. Seems like the idea. Seems like the plan. Beautiful. Uh, Death Stance is fine here. Just with our build, we don't have uh, Transcendence. So we're not getting extra AD for the CDR that we go over cap. But Death Stance is just so good on this stupid champion. Because you have 40%, or in our case, 45% CDR. So you have 45% CDR, or 40%. You have a ton of abilities that do a ton of damage. And then all that damage is uh, converted into some healing. So, Death Stance is just kind of ridiculous on this champion. Plus, the way the uh, shield interacts with the damage reduction and bleed effect. Like, the fact that you're constantly shielding and you're reducing everything that hits you. Hold up. Oh! Fat finger! Oh, you sausage fingers! Alright, well, I totally meant to do that. Goofball. Jesus. I'm coming here. Oh, he didn't ult. He got sniped. Too much damage. Ooh, I think I clipped the auto again. That's the thing. Like, you just want to perfect the auto. You just want to perfect your mechanics with this champion. You want to get it so good to the point that it's just second nature. It's like hitting layups in basketball or, you know. Any one of the basic tasks. Once you get the mechanics down with the champ. Like, you should probably not even really fuck with the champ too hard until you understand the mechanics. Go in, like, a practice mode. Practice all the different combos you can do. Play some jungle. Like, I think playing her as jungle is pretty smart. That is a bad idea, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna dip. CC for days. Ooh, he healed me after. That's lame. No, I'm dead as fuck, dude. Wow. That was a little bit lame. I got the heal after I was in GA. That was kind of lame. I should have bailed out earlier, but... They just have so much CC. It's hard for this man to do anything. Yeah. Watch that CC, brother. Plus the exhaust. Oh my god. You can't deal with that shit. Oof. Big throw right there, huh? How much gold did we toss? I tossed 800. This guy tossed 1,000 onto Vladimir. Oh my god. He just got huge. Where is it? Your proto belt, sir. That's not a good build. Proto belt is mandatory on Vladimir. It has AP and HP. Both with his passive scale into the other one. And then the extension of range is so important. It is basically how, it's basically how you're actually able to land your Q. Because no one's just sitting there getting hit by your Q. 
Like you have to use your range extension from a proto belt to hit Q most of the time, unless you're playing against a real big goofball. But most of the time they ain't gonna be that dumb. That's interesting. Oops. Missed the auto. So I keep pushing here. Get this wave shoved out and group up with the team. I'm gonna have flash for this fight, so it should be pretty free. Or we could just set Baron. Bloop. Let's walk with this guy. Do that. Can I jump this? Nice. I'm just gonna walk over here. Grab this real quick. Sweet. He just got a pick and bot. Okay, just double killed. How the fuck did he do that? I really wish I got to watch that one. Jesus! What a monster. You gotta be careful about Shaco. But he's a level ahead of him. Oh, Shaco's bot. What? We just walked top here. The giant wave stacked up. Oops. Boing up. Oh, I keep canceling that auto. You can cancel so early in the animation, but you gotta actually get to that point in the animation where you're just canceling the auto without getting it off. Which defeats the whole purpose. It's Riven Champion Omega LOL. Whew. Oh my god, he didn't have ult up. <laughs> Just got one hit. Ooh. My Q's literally already back up. Champion is mind blowing. Holy moly. GG, baby. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Hello? Game is still in progress. It is not Riot Games, you small indie company. It is actually out. Yes. Let me go to this guy. Everybody played really well. Oh my god. Did I just get an S on this champion that I'm so bad with? Holy moly. I am so bad with Riven. This guy played fine. He played aggro in the early game and we got jungle pressure. But he needed to... See, that's, the... that's why I don't like pushing when I know they start at top. Because you end up in that trap. If they go, if they go red buff and you know they start at top because he knows I'm late to lane, obviously. And yeah. And then they do Krugs, and then they gank. Or they do Red, Crab, Gank. Red, Krugs, Gank. Red, Crab, Gank. Both of those are going to get you wrecked if you're pushing the wave. But he also kind of has to as Trindamir. But again, it's just going to get you wrecked. You have to play really caught. You have to hard shove for those two waves and then dip. And then get your wards down to make sure you don't die. And if you do that, then you can bounce the wave, and then you avoid the pressure, and you even soaked it up. But... When you just mindlessly shove into like a top lane start without any wards down, you're just going to die and get punished every time. It's like a common thing that, dude, I did this all last season. And I'd be like, why do I always get ganked? But it's literally because you're dumb. If they start top, you have to immediately drop a ward on your river, and then you don't want to push. If you do push, you need to shove those waves in the first two. You have to wipe them. So shove them into tower super fast, which is very difficult to do because there's going to be a guy contesting you and trying to freeze like I did. I froze outside my tower, just kept the range minions outside, and then he gets screwed off of that, and he can't do anything. And then he gets ganked, and he dies. Easy peasy. Number one damage in the game, like always. Woo! What is new? Anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. If you're watching on YouTube right now, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content like this. And you should also check out the highlight channel for the uh, games against BoxBox and Scarra's team in the Switch Rivals. If you're watching on stream right now, make sure to follow the live stream and click that subscribe button. See if you got a free Twitch Prime sub available. You might have one ready, waiting to be redeemed that you don't even know about. Anyways, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.